Dear friends, this weekend we celebrate Palm Sunday, the triumphal procession of the Lord into the city of Jerusalem and our own procession into Holy Week and the solemn mysteries of the Lord's passion, death, and resurrection. For the 40 days of Lent, we have prepared ourselves for this by prayer and fasting and works of charity. These Lenten disciplines, as well as the Stations of the Cross, the soup suppers, the fish fries, the confessions we have made and the penances we have undertaken, are all in view of helping us see more clearly one important truth. As we follow the Lord's footsteps in Holy Week, we do so as participants, not as spectators. The events of the Passion, which we hear both today and on Good Friday, are dramatic and violent. It exposes the ugliness of sin and the fury of evil. The Passion is unimaginable in its brutality. We would rather it be a story, something at a safe distance from our actual lives. But to do that would be to distance ourselves from friendship with the Lord, like St. Peter did when he denied him, or wash our hands of the whole thing, as Pontius Pilate did. It is always uncomfortable in the Passion reading for us to join with the cry of the crowd, away with him, crucify him. Because of course, it's the same crowd that welcomed him on Palm Sunday, that now calls for his blood on Good Friday. And yet, the Lord Jesus is the only person in the Gospel narrative who goes into these events with eyes and heart wide open. That heart he showed to his intimate friends on the night of the Last Supper. This is my body given up for you. This is my blood poured out for you. Because of his love, it is possible for us to look on the events of the Lord's Passion not simply as a tragedy and injustice, but as a supreme gift. The Lord gives himself completely to the Father in a self-sacrifice of love so that you and I can be healed and saved. The Passion and indeed all the events we will celebrate this Holy Week is the greatest manifestation of love the world has ever known. It is the revelation of the heart of God who was willing to go to the very extreme of human misery to lift us out of it. Join me, join the whole church in celebrating Holy Week. This year, don't just come to the party late by showing up on Easter Sunday morning. Dive into the full week as a participant and not just a spectator. Go to confession. Spend some time in prayer in the Garden of Gethsemane after Holy Thursday Mass. Venerate the Lord's Cross on Good Friday and celebrate the church's most sacred night and renew your baptismal faith at the Easter Vigil. May the Hosanna we sing at the beginning of Palm Sunday blossom into Easter joy for you and your family. Have a blessed Holy Week.